If 2023 was the year of blockbuster sequels, 2024 so far is the year of legacy sequels. It seems like long-standing franchises left and right are being revived, and surprisingly are actually pretty good. So, does Bad Boys continue that trend? Or is it yet another action franchise that goes way too far in its conquest to one-up itself? Hey Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a US Marine, sir. Well then you need to deploy. Ride or Die once again reunites Mike and Marcus and their undeniable energy, this time in the most predictable franchise turn, on the run from the very establishment they work for. It's a plot turn as old as franchise cinema itself, so much so that Mission Impossible has done it a half a dozen times. It is, of course, a very uninspired place to take this story, but thankfully the cast chemistry and their wacky hijinks is the backbone of this whole franchise, and it is in perfect form here. Stay right there! Mm-mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Get the fuck up! Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Wanna deal with him, you wanna deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I gotta go. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are fantastic in these roles, not shying away from exploring self-deprecating humor for our entertainment. The plot does attempt to explore the characters in new ways, but little is actually done to hit those emotional highs and instead focuses on the humor of it instead. I'm a woman. I'm a strong, I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, I'm cause she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Mm -mm. That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. On a technical level, the film is colorful and wildly inventive with its cinematography. From fully in-camera point of view one-shots, to complex interior drone footage that captures the action as it unfolds, the film sometimes tries to retain that bombastic Michael Bay-inspired style, but to varying results. Moving forwards, I would hope the directors funnel in more on their own style instead of trying to replicate the organized chaos that was Bay's unhinged set pieces. Bad Boys Ride or Die is a great time at the movies. It is funny, action-packed, and despite not doing anything particularly new, it doubles down on the things it was always good at, delivering a solid film that I would recommend fans check out in theaters. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. Here at Get to the Conclusion Reviews, my goal is to provide a quick but thorough critique of a film's narrative, performative, and technical aspects, giving you the best information in the most digestible format. If that is something that interests you, a like and a subscription would be greatly appreciated. But what about you? What are your thoughts on the movie? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to read what you have to say. <laughs>